What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the Coach Plays. In this video, we are going to dive into Amari Cooper's historic game he had against the Houston Texans, where he broke a franchise record for most receiving yards in a single game. Amari Cooper went off, had 11 receptions for 265 yards, a pair of touchdowns, and a long of 75. Amari Cooper is definitely making the Cowboys still regret their decision of ever letting him go. So let's go ahead and dive right into this game. Okay, so Amari starts off with a bang. They're just going to, on the first play of the game, run a straight post route with Amari Cooper here. Texans try to bracket him and just do a horrendous job. This is honestly more on the Texans than I think Amari Cooper, but he's going to press into the cushion of the corner, snap off his post route, and you know Joe Flacco puts this ball exactly where it has to be. Can't be any lower or, or further, and he's able to put it right in there. But uh, Amari Cooper, to his credit, he goes up and gets this. But, man, this is pretty bad. Bad defensive play by the Houston Texans. Just a really good ball, but a big-time play to start off the game for Amari Cooper. Now, on this next one, it's it's a lot more impressive here. He's going to run a deep-breaking out route about 15 to 20 yards down the field, but he as he eats into the cushion of the corner right here, he's going to give him something at the apex of his route. He's already burnt him on the previous drive on a post, so he's going to give him something with a little bit of inside influence. Then he's going to snap this thing back off to the outside. Corner still did a pretty good job as far as his coverage, uh, but Amari Cooper is able to create enough separation and go get it. This ball is a little bit high. You'll see from the end zone copy, Amari Cooper is able to direct it and go high point this ball. Pretty, pretty great play there by Amari Cooper. So the best weapon for someone like Amari Cooper is the play action ability and a really good run game. And right here, they are going to really hurt the Houston Texans on their play action fake of some outside zone to the right. Those backers get sucked underneath way too far. And now the center field safety has to make a decision. He elects to drop down on Najoku, leaving a one-on-one -on -one option for Amari Cooper. And he just big boys the corner off to a big touchdown early in this game. You're going to see Najoku come pretty well wide open underneath and the free safety for the Texans has to make a decision to bite down on it to try to recover. Leaves that one-on-one -on -one matchup. Amari Cooper is able to fight through some defensive pass interference right there and still make the play. So guys, before we continue to dive into this, if you're liking this video, please hit that thumbs up. It's free and it helps out the video get pushed out to that larger audience. And as always, if you like it, hit that subscribe button, help join this community and help grow this thing together. Now let's go ahead and dive right back into the video. This play right here, he does not catch this football, but I want to show you the impact that Amari Cooper is having for the Cleveland Browns. They are going to bracket him, which clearly they had that decision going into this game. They still screwed the pooch on play one. So this is what can happen when you're focusing all on one receiver. He's going to run a clear out route at the top of the screen. He's going to take the corner and the play side safety with him. And then you're going to have a flat route along with a drag. Free safety has to make a decision. And your flat route is going to come wide open after that backer takes the mesh. And it has everything to do with Amari Cooper taking two defenders out of the play. So on this one here, I believe Amari Cooper's got an option route at the top of your screen. You're going to get like a streak switch concept, and then the third receiver is going to break out to a quick flat. But as Amari Cooper runs into this streak, he's going to notice that that corner's got top leverage, and he's going to find himself just sitting in a nice open spot in this zone, come back to it, use his body, and get that football corralled. Really good job adjustment by Amari Cooper. Like I say, they were able to find him in a nice little soft spot in this zone. Flacco delivers a good pass, and it's another big downfield reception for Amari Cooper. Okay, so I got to say on this one, this was pretty nasty by Amari Cooper. Once again, you're going to get great play action. They are in a very heavy set, a 13 personnel set, one wide receiver, and that is Amari Cooper at the top of the screen. They're going to fake another outside zone, 
But Amari Cooper is going to be so relaxed on this route that the corner gets caught snoozing, and then he's going to snap a slant route right underneath him. Slow off the ball, and now if you freeze it here, he is standing pretty well tall, and he's just looking back at the play-action fake, and then he's going to snap this thing right back inside and look at all that separation. That is a really good job on Amari Cooper's part, but also the play-action fake with the outside zone. You can see here on the end zone copy, nice little ride, snap your hips, float this ball out there. That is not too much of a hard throw, just nice, easy catch. Amari Cooper pays the price, but it's another big reception. Okay, so this one has to be the most oppressive of the game. Probably if you if you haven't seen this play yet, then you're going to want to tune into this one. But most people have already seen this. So this one's kind of just a broken down play. Amari Cooper's just going to run a deep out route uh, at the top of your screen. And that's more of your pre-snap outlet, okay? It is what you would be called a pre-snap access throw. If that corner was backed off and you just had a huge cushion, then Joe Flacco probably as a pre-snap read would like that and just throw it out there, but the corner's pressed. So Joe Flacco is going to work into his two-man concept down here at the bottom of the screen. Houston Texans are going to do a good job of locking it down. And so this is just going to kind of turn into a scramble drill here as he's honing in on that. It's not there. He's about to get sacked. At the last second, he just throws it up, and Amari Cooper is able to make a spectacular grab. You'll be able to get a better look at it here in the red zone, in the end zone copy. But I do want to freeze it on Joe Flacco. He 100% should not have thrown this ball. Joe Flacco right here is almost getting sacked. And at this moment, Amari Cooper's really not open, but he's going to throw it out there and then watch this grab. I mean, oh my goodness, a toe tap, shielding his body, able to corral that one in. The most oppressive catch of the day for Amari Cooper. As we go back to it and slow this down, you're going to see Amari Cooper just a deep breaking out route. He's not being looked at right now. He's just waiting, waiting, waiting. Now he triggers up, and he's able to make that nice toe-tap catch. Just very impressive overall for Amari Cooper. And that is just a few of the clips what Amari Cooper was able to perform and get done in that game. Once again, 11 catches, 265 yards, a long of 75, a pair of touchdowns. He had an average reception of 24.1 yards in that game, and he broke the all-time uh, receiving yards in a single game for the Cleveland Browns history. Very impressive for Amari Cooper. And boy, could the Dallas Cowboys be able to use Amari Cooper with a CD lamb still rather than gallop over there. But let me know what you guys think about this in the comments section below. Amari Cooper goes all for the Cleveland Browns, keeps them in the hunt for a playoff berth. As always, guys, stay humble, stay kind. Peace.